Yes, so now we have the tilt rotator. Obviously, this one is perfectly clean. If you are working at home, Most I would recommend not. to dust it off, off and uh, remove all the debris from the tilt rotator. Uh, I would start looking at the electric stuff, looking at the cables, seeing, for example, this one is loose. So uh, we will have to check if there's any moisture inside. We can open up the connector, look inside. And uh, before we... And, and how, how is that usually shown? Is it... Uh, how do you see if there's moisture? I mean... It... Yeah, if it's moisture inside, you can see that the contacts are getting green. Okay. And, uh, or black. And uh, obviously, there you see the moisture as well. So, uh, to do that, the first thing we can do is to use our electric cleaner. And then we can use the... Afterwards, when everything is clean, the dielectric compound. So one thing we can do is just spray, spray in the electric cleaner, dry it out perfectly. We can use some compressed air for that. And once we are sure it's perfectly dry, we use some dielectric compound, put it inside, just fill up the connector. So, so this is just then for cleaning and making sure that it's perfectly clean. And then this dielectric compound, is that for, is that preventative then? Yeah, exactly. This is preventive to, uh, this is like grease, but yeah, no, no normal grease. It's grease to prevent the water from coming in. Okay, right. And now uh, you see on this one, we are missing also the seal. So you mm -hmm. can make sure that you have the seal. I don't have a seal here right now, but normally we would add the seal as well. And then we just put the contact back together and it's perfectly fine for the next season. All right. Is, we, it, is it worth putting any inside of the connectors as well when you let's say, put them together? Yeah, that's not, not the problem. You have the seal inside. You can't put too much because then you won't be able to put them together, but you can just put like a little bit mm -hmm. like this on it. And then uh, afterwards you just press them together. Once they are together, you make sure that this one clips in perfectly. And also look that this one is properly working. If it's broken off or something, you might something you might uh, have to replace the connector. Then you make sure that all the wires and cables, cables and everything is fine. Not any cable squeezed. You can also check inside the cabin of the excavator if you have any fault codes or something on the electrics, and uh, try to find out. So, so if I would have a fault code, let's say if if. Uh... I'm doing this now as my, my, uh, my autumn service, let's say. If I've had a couple of fault codes, this could actually solve that issue? Yes, depending on what fault code you have. Obviously, you, you'll find, for example, I don't know, valve 7 uh, short circuit, and then you have a look around. You can check uh, which one is valve 7. Uh, you can ask uh, or call the ENCON support to check which one is valve number 7 or what the fault code exactly means. And uh, once you know what it means, you can try to localize the problem. And for example, uh, let's say this is valve 7, then you would check here, check if the connector is working properly, mm -hmm. then you can follow all the cable and you check uh, if everything is fine and if there's something to repair. All right. And I, I guess then, I mean, this, uh, these products, they can be used on all the different connectors out in the tilt rotators. I mean, there's no harm in using them for, for the ones connecting to the solenoid. There's no harm in using them for of no, course, now you should the at all. It's, it's actually better to use them if you have them and just put them everywhere, then you're sure that there's no moisture coming in. So it's even better if you use them. All right. Perfect. So then cleaning and putting some grease on, making sure grease. the contacts are clean. If they are all green or everything, you might have to replace the connector completely. Okay. Because so one, so once, once it's too much moisture or there was too much moisture and you didn't do anything about they can corrode and everything and then you, obviously even this one won't help anymore and then you will have to replace the complete connector that was just going to be my question that that green build up is that then corrosion or yeah that's corrosion yeah. and uh, i don't know the exactly meaning but it's uh, the, the corrosion on the connector all right perfect okay yeah. so uh, i guess that was everything when it comes to electrical connections so take them apart cleaning them, making sure that all the seals are in them, and then put the electrical compound or electrical grease uh, and make sure that it's electrical grease, not, not using any kind of grease. It's electrical grease that we that, that's recommended, yeah. uh, purposely made for that purpose. 
and then just put them together again. Yeah, and one more thing is obviously to check all the cable route and see that there's no cable squeezed or uh, touching somewhere so that in the next weeks or months you will have uh, ground contact on the cable. So just make an overall check around, mm -hmm. make sure there's not too much oil and grease everywhere around in the tilt rotator so the cables, uh, the, the grease and the sand mixes together and then you will have this ca cable. Uh, oh, they're rubbing against each other? Rubbing against each other so that could break everything. All right.